Hello everyone. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about the problem on volumetric strain due to the single stress. In this lecture, we are going to discussing about the problem on volumetric strain due to three mutually perpendicular applied loads. So let's see the problem. A steel cube block of 50 mm side is subject to a force of 10 kN in tension, 12.5 kN compression and 7.5 kN in tension along the x, y and z direction respectively. So then determine the change in volume of the block and consider the x modulus value is 200 kN per mm square and the Poisson ratio is the 0.3. So observe in the diagram. Here we are applying the so forces in the x, y, z directions. In the x direction we are applied in the 10 kN. Nature of the force is tensile. In the y direction we are applied in the 12.5 kN. Nature is the compressive. Similarly here applying the load 7.5 kN. So in the z direction nature is the tensile forces. Then we have to determine the change in volume that is the delta V we have to determine. So this is the given the block is the cubic block. So each side having the 50 mm. So it's a length also 50 mm length width and thickness all are having the 50 mm. So then the cross section area of the block with respect to the any directional forces. So cross section area for the x direction and y direction z direction it should be the same that is the 50 into 50 so then first i have to start the solution for this one first we have to determine the so area of the block uh, that is the 50 into 50 the value is 2500 mm square so next we have to determine the stress in the x direction so then have to determine stress in the x direction that is the sigma x so sigma x is the applied load is the 10 kN. So 10 into 10 kN divided by cross sectional area. Cross sectional area is 50 into 50. That is a 2500. So the value is 4 Newton per mm square. The nature of the stress is tensile. So why mean here applied in the so tensile force. So we have to consider the sigma x value is positive 4 Newton per mm square. Similarly, we have to determine the stresses in direction of the y and z directions. So next we have to determine the stress in y direction that is the sigma y. Here we are applying the load is compressive forces that is the 12.5 kN. So apply load is 12.5 kN mean 10 cube. So divided by cross section area that is also same thing 15 to 50 2500. So the value of the sigma y 5 kN per mm square. So nature is the compressive stress. So for the compressive stress, we have to consider the negative sign. So always we have to consider positive, positive values for the tensile and the negative values for the compressive. Similarly, stress in x z direction that is the sigma z equal to the so applied force in the z direction 7.5 kN. So 7.5 into 10 q. So divided by cross section area that is 2500. The value of the sigma z equal to 3 newton per mm square. So applied the load is nature of the load is tensile. So it is a positive 3 newton per mm square. So these are the sigma x, sigma y, and sigma z values. That is the 4 kilo newton per mm square minus 5 kilo newton per mm square, 3 kilo newton per mm square. And x modulus and Poisson ratio are the given in data. The value of the x modulus is 200 kilo newton per mm square. Poisson ratio that is the 1 by m value is 0.3. So next we have to determine the so volume so strain in the x direction and y direction and the z direction. So first we have to determine the strain in the x direction that is the epsilon x. So we know the formula so for the strain in the x direction that is the sigma x by e minus of sigma y by m by e minus of sigma z divided by m by e. So we know the sigma x, sigma y value and sigma z value and also we know the 1 by m value and also e value. Then substitute in the epsilon x equation. So that is the, 
So sigma x is the 4 kilo newton. So 4 by e minus of here sigma y value is the minus y. Then 4 by e minus of minus 5 into 1 by m value is the 0.3. So minus 5 into 0.3 divided by e minus of sigma z value is the 3. So 3 into so 1 by m value is the 0.3 divided by e. Then we have to solve this one. We will get the value is the 4.6 divided by e. Similarly, we know the so strain in the y direction that is the epsilon y equal to so sigma y by e minus of sigma z by m by e minus of sigma x by m by e. Here also same thing. Have to substitute sigma y value is the minus y. So minus y by e minus of sigma z value is the 3. So 3. 1 by m value is the 0.3. So 3 into 0.3 divided by e. Similarly, sigma x value is the 4 and 1 by m value is the 0.3. So 4 into 0.3 divided by e. So now to solve this one, we will get the minus of 7.1 divided by e. Similarly, epsilon z value is the sigma z by e minus of sigma x by m by e minus of sigma y by m by e. Here also I have to substitute sigma x, sigma y and sigma z values and also 1 by m values. So substitute in the epsilon z equation. So we will get the value is 3.3 divided by e. And we know the volumetric strain that is the delta v by v equal to so epsilon v equal to summation of the strain in the x direction, y, y direction and the z direction. That is the so volumetric strain epsilon v equal to epsilon x plus epsilon y and epsilon z. So already we know the strain in the x direction and y direction and also z direction. Then I have to substitute these values in the volumetric strain equation. Then we will get the so delta v by v that is the change in volume divided by original volume equal to the so 4.6 divided by e minus of 7.1 divided by e plus 3.3 divided by e. This value is the 0.8 divided by e. And then, so this is the volumetric sign equation will become delta V by V equal to 0.8 by E. So then delta V equal to 0.8 into, so original volume divided by Young's molars. So we know that when the volume of the cube is, so side cube, so side is given the 50. So volume of the this one cubic is 50 cube. Then I have to substitute V value in this equation. Here we have to substitute. So then and also have to substitute E value. Then we will get the so change in volume value. That is the delta V equal to 0.8 divided by x minus volume is the 200 into 10 cube and the volume is the 50 cube. So then we will get the change in volume is the 0.5 mm cube. So this is the solution for the given problem. So thank you.